Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by Gigi Brows. Um, you've probably seen on my Instagram and YouTube that I recently got my eyebrows micropigmentation, needle and machine, not microbladed. Yeah, so that's what I had done and it was seven weeks ago um, yep. since we had it done. So we thought we would answer some questions about the experience. Kind of, you get a lot of questions, don't you? All the time, all the time. Yeah, so we thought it'd just be easy to answer them. It's all in one place, people can refer back to this. Um, Perfect. So yeah, we're gonna answer your questions today. So, how long did yours last before you needed to get them topped up? So, it's been seven weeks now yeah. since I had them done. It's on average so, about two months that yeah. every client, not every client, decides that they may need a top up. We don't include a top up in the price because we often find that over 50% of the clients don't need one. Um, so we use it as like a, it's an add additional fee. Some people do, some people don't. Catherine's quite oily, so that's why she needs a top up. Um, and it will just freshen up the brows and then she shouldn't need to come back for about nine to 12 months. And if people don't get a top up, would they, would you recommend them to come back then like the nine months later or? Yeah, as and when. Generally we say once a year, but again, everyone's different. Yeah. We are a nation of uh, problematic skin, um, acne, rosacea, sensitive, very oily, um, and that can really affect the results. So we don't set like one price for top ups. We stagger the prices so that if you want to come in um, at four months, it will be less expensive than it would be at eight months. For example, we don't charge a flat rate. It just goes up and up and up the longer that you leave it just to try and make it fair for everybody. Mm -hmm. Do they go other people's work? We do, within reason. We won't ever just take a case on willy-nilly. We don't, we don't do it for money. We will really tell you if it's worth taking on or if it's not. We can end up making it worse if we just say yes to everybody. Um, microblading causes a copious amount of scar tissue and leaves a lot of pigment in the skin. So it's very, very difficult to correct and we can't guarantee results. So if you are thinking of having your brows done, but you have got previous pigment, or you've ever had previous work done, then you will need to send in pictures so that we can assess whether it's something that we can take on or not. So one of the questions was, how are you getting on with yours now? Okay. She's been watching your YouTube yeah. journey. So I'm loving them. I think they're such like a game changer. Like it's made doing my makeup so much quicker and everything kind of comes together. It's like when we had the consultation before we did it and you were like, this will just make your whole face like more symmetrical. Absolutely. And I think it really, yeah. really has because you literally made them like twins, like yeah. which you can't just draw that on, I don't think. No, you can't. Like, you you can't. can't. And obviously we went from quite a, a so, different shape yeah, as well so to what different. we've got now. It's really opened up your eyes and just really it's enhanced. Me more space yeah, absolutely. It's that. given you a very fleeky look yeah and i think it's i think actually it suits you beautifully yeah, yeah. in terms of like the afterwards i did have to have the whole two weeks of i had to be so strict on myself yeah, like absolutely. not sweating the careful yeah. with the makeup like i was so yeah. careful because you warned me about it going ashy and obviously i didn't want that so i'm really glad that i took it very seriously yeah you do we do half the job we do 50 yeah. percent of the job and you do the other 50% of the job by carrying out your aftercare appropriately. If you don't carry out your aftercare appropriately, they won't heal well. No. And that is nobody else's responsibility no. other than your own. We and it would just that be very such clear. a waste, wouldn't it? Yeah, like? absolutely. Such a waste of time, uh, money, slight discomfort. Um, it's, it's a waste of your time and mine. So your aftercare, you have to be prepared to look after them religiously yeah how long was it before you couldn't sweat for etc after having them done you advised two weeks yeah. um of no sweating so i just didn't go to the gym so that there was no temptation Perfect. um because even if you do do a little bit of working yeah. out you might sweat or yeah, so yeah, i just yeah. cut it out for two weeks yeah. and just had two weeks off i mean the first week was lovely because i was like oh it's so nice having a break yeah. from the gym but by the second week i was ready to go back but it's <laughs> If you want to go and do something like yoga or mm. potentially Pilates, something that's really like, you know, low key, not strenuous, that's okay. It's when you start doing cardio yeah. and weightlifting, what it is is that when we sweat, we produce salt. Um, 
I don't, you know, I think everybody kind of knows that, that the yeah. skin can get a bit salty and, you know, salt will push out the mm -hmm. pigment. Yeah. We use a salt and saline solution to remove pigment if we ever need to. Mm -hmm. So if you're naturally producing a high salt yeah. level when you're sweating, then that's just going to push your pigment out during such a crucial time. Yeah, for healing exactly. Periods. I think, you, again, you have to take it seriously. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Can it be tailored to different coloured hair? In brackets, I am fair. Yes, it can. Absolutely. Everybody's different. Nobody ever leaves with the same set of brows. Your brows will be mapped out and tailored specifically for your needs, the shape that you need, taking your features into consideration as well. And then your pigment will be mixed up and tailored depending on what colour you're looking to achieve as well. Everyone always feels really dark at first and you lose about, you know, between... 30 and 50% of the colour during healing. So we always say, look, you're gonna feel really thick because you're swollen and really dark at first, but that will all massively settle. But if you're fair, then that's no problem at all. Again, your results, the colour that you're looking for will be tailored to your needs once again. Catherine, mm -hmm. was it painful? The way I'd describe it is the actual like needle was not that painful. It was just when you had to rub it and it yeah. makes your skin sore. Yeah, but it's not, absolutely. I wouldn't say it's painful. It's no. just uncomfortable. Definitely. I, that's what I say to everybody. Yeah. It's not painful, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. But you have to expect that when you're booking in for an aesthetic procedure. You're booking in for a semi permanent tattoo, exactly. not a massage. Exactly. <laughs> I've, um, it's not relaxed. <laughs> no, it's not. But then I've never had anybody be like, oh my gosh, I can't do this, or this is agony, or nothing like that. It's just uncomfortable. But the procedure itself doesn't take too long. So it's over and done with quite quickly. Mm -hmm. The discomfort is. The, yeah, the absolutely. It's when you're wiping the, the pigment away or you're cleaning up the brows, that's when it gets sore. But it's so quick that honestly yeah it's you really and not that bad if you really want it done you will lie there exactly and have it exactly. done like exactly and honestly the girls that come in and, and are so anxious like oh my god is it gonna hurt oh <laughs> i'm so worried they're the ones that just get on the bed and they're like that's absolutely yeah. fine that's not <laughs> bothered at all yeah it's funny how people react everybody's so different yeah to be yeah but I wouldn't, like, if people ever ask me if it's painful, I'd probably say no. No, because it's no. not that bad. It's, it's really not, not that bad it's at not. all. No. One of the questions was how long does the procedure take? The actual procedure itself takes between, um, anywhere between sort of 50 minutes to an hour and a quarter max. It really depends, again, on the skin type, um, whether the client has got thin or thick blood, uh, but generally between 50 minutes and an hour and a quarter. A lot of the procedure is your mapping. Yeah. It is your pre-drawing. Yeah. Which you took so seriously. Absolutely. Your pre-drawing has got to be perfect. Nothing less than that. Once you've got your pre-drawing, the procedure can't go wrong at all because you'll have such a good idea of how the brows are going to look. Exactly. You see? Um, yeah, so, so much of it is just mapping, pre-drawing, tailoring, making adjustments, talking to the client, yeah. seeing if you're satisfied, making alterations, working together. That's how you get the best results. And then it goes into the procedure. So generally from walk-in to walk-out, it's two hours. Yeah. Okay, Yeah. about two hours. Yes. They are all the kind of like questions related to my experience um but you also do training for people so we do we get quite a lot of um we get quite a lot of questions in about training and the educational side of the procedure at gg brows we offer a course for beginners who have no experience in the field we also offer a conversion course for those who are already trained in microblading and want to advance to machine and needle and then we also offer a masterclass for those who are already trained in the machine and want to be able to learn to do ombre brows the way that I do them. Everything's on the website, which is www.ggbrows.co.uk. Should you have any queries, you're more than welcome to email in at georgie at ggbrows.co.uk. I love teaching. We teach every other week and we run it throughout the entire year. And it's tailored to everybody. There's never any more than two students in a class. It's luxurious training and you'll be well looked after.
Perfect. Yeah, they are all the questions. Um, thank you so much for answering them. No problem at all, it's absolutely fine. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have got any more questions, feel free to message me or Georgie. Um, I'll leave her Instagram and her website down below. But I'm sure I'll see you soon with another one. Bye. See you later. Thank you.